Hey everybody, Bravo Chef Travis here, and today I'm going to show you how to properly insert the temp sensor into a number of different chicken cuts. So join me and see how easy it is. All right, first up today, I'm going to show you the boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is one of our most popular chicken cooks. And so the first thing, obviously, you want to use the temp sensor to measure the height. This one I can see, I like to get down on it, is just under one and a half inches. And that's going to correspond to right about there on the temp sensor line. See, this is one inch and then half inch increments all the way up. Now, let's first talk about placement with your chicken breast. You're always gonna want the thicker side of the chicken breast to be on the left-hand side of the tray in zone two if you're cooking just a chicken by itself. Um, if you're doing a combination, the chicken will often be in zone one. But the principle of, of inserting the temp sensor is the same. Once you've measured your chicken breast, you're gonna to want to make sure that you insert it horizontally and straight through all the way to the hilt, and the hilt is the handle right here. It's really important because you don't want the, any of this needle being exposed. So what I wanna do is find that center and insert it horizontally all the way straight to the hilt, just like that. Now you're ready to go. Now, if you wanna do two chicken breasts, I wanna show you how that orientation should look. You want to take your first chicken breast and then your second one just goes down right here. I like to keep the thicker side of the chicken breast in the center um, on this one if I can, just because the, the thinner side's going to cook a little bit quicker and it's further away from the lamp over here. Um, not a big deal, but if you have the choice, make sure you try and put this second chicken breast with the thicker side in the middle. Now I'm going to show you a chicken drumstick or chicken leg. Um, here you can see top side bottom side there's a bone that runs through the drumstick obviously and what I'm trying to do is again you want the thicker side to be on the left hand side of zone two and I want to run the temp sensor kind of along that bone it's okay if the temp sensor touches the bone a little bit but you're just trying to get this really where you think the coldest place in that chicken is gonna be so I think right there is pretty good insertion you can see how it's right down the middle you could come a little bit lower over here too, but as long as you can even come in from the side, you just want to make sure that you're getting it up and against that bone into the thickest portion of it as you can. Just a couple of other different insertions that will work for you. This is one right there. That would work. I like to keep the, the skin side facing up though, um, in this case, just for optimal browning. So that's perfect right there. Now for the chicken leg quarter, you can see we have a thigh and the drumstick that are attached to each other. Here, I'm just gonna try and get it again in sort of the thickest portion of that drumstick straight down. It's okay if it touches the bone. And then you can move it up and around. That's it.